Today on NBA 2K24, we are going to see if the last 10 NBA MVPs can go 82-0. As you can see, we're here in the NBA 2K24, and we get the list of all the last 10 MVPs right here. Obviously, you just won real life here at the 23-24 season here, but obviously that's not up to date here in the game. Joel Embiid ended up winning last season, then Jokic won the two years prior, then Giannis with the Bucks both in the 2019 and 20 season there, then Prime James Harden with the Houston Rockets before him, Russell Westbrook with the OKC Thunder. That, that year was absolutely incredible, him averaging the triple double and all that. Then, of course, Prime Steph Curry right there, win back to back MVPs, unanimous this season there. Kevin Durant with the OKC Thunder here, LeBron James winning two in Miami. Derrick Rose, the youngest MVP ever, winning in the 2011 season here. Then LeBron won twice with the Cleveland Cavaliers right there. Then the last one was Kobe Bryant, of course, in the 2007-2008 NBA season. We're here in the Charlotte Hornets with this roster, and now Embiid is definitely not the best player on this team, but, you know, 2K is saying that, so whatever. So, obviously, we'll go through it one more time. Embiid, Jokic, Kobe, LeBron, James, Steph Curry here, Giannis, Kevin Durant, Prime, D. Rose, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook. That's your 10-man rotation. Those are the last 10 players to win an NBA MVP. So, I'm excited to do this here. Let's see if they can go 8-0, but first, though, let me get show you the rotation before we kick into things. So, here's the rotation that we have for this simulation. We have Curry starting at the point guard. Kobe's going to be at the to LeBron at the three, Giannis at the four, and Jokic is going to be at the starting five position for us. And Bede's coming off the bench along with Kevin Durant, Derrick Rose, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook. Crazy to say that that Russell Westbrook from that season, I made sure to get it as close as possible. He's going to be the one coming off the bench in this simulation. And not only just coming off the bench, he's going to be playing the least amount of minutes between all of them, which is pretty crazy. But either way, so I'm doing three years of the simulation to see how things play out and everything. So we're doing three seasons of this challenge here. Obviously, the goal is to go 8 to 0 by the end of the video. But if not, then obviously the video is going to be an absolute failure if they don't. But either way, let's see how this plays out. Something I did want to mention as well is that for each of these players on their current teams, they're no longer on their squad. So for example here, LeBron James obviously currently plays for the Lakers. And I made sure that he's not on the current Lakers squad. And for another proof of this example here, Jokic on the Nuggets is no longer there. We're going to go to the Phoenix Suns here because they're closest to the Denver Nuggets, you know, for this thing. And obviously Durant is not on the Suns. So I did that for all the players, uh, all 10 players on this roster here. I made sure that they were not on the current team. Either way, so let's get into this. I'm really hoping for the best here. Injuries are off, of course, because then, well, it's no fun if any of them get injured. So we're going to simulate quickly through games here. 145 to 114. Team, a huge victory in the first game right here with Curry with 28. I'm very curious to see how like the stat lines and everything line up for our entire players. And as you can see, we still have like a couple other players on the roster here. But don't worry, they're not going to be playing any minutes, so they're not going to be affecting this at all. The second game, we're taking on the Pistons here, 136 to 101 victory here. 23 for Durant, 20 for Jokic there, and Giannis had 17. So we're going to be doing that for the rest of the season here. I was hoping we go 8-2-0. So I'm going to see you guys at the end of the year here. When so for the best. Otherwise, though, I'll probably catch in though if we end up losing but uh, you'll see shortly i'll catch up with you guys soon currently at january 8th on the season but on january 1st on new year's day we actually end up losing to the denver nuggets 125 to 123 jamal murray went crazy in this one here 38 points 14 assists and again as you can see there is no Jokic on this roster so we still lost to Jokic list denver nuggets squad that's absolutely crazy but we're still going to finish the season here and see everything that's going to play out there but i'll see you guys at the end of the season Luka had an absurd season right here, 39, 12, and 10 this season. Really ridiculous right there, Victor Rookie of the Year. And Bede went sixth of the year coming off the bench for Shark Horns this season. And obviously none of them else on any of those squads. I doubt any of them make an all NBA team because remember they're all playing together. So all the numbers are going to be a little bit less. And like I said before, none of them do make an all NBA team right there. Let's, just ch let's check the player stats here first before we get into the record and everything. Uh, Durant actually led the ring scoring for us with 15.5. It was a very well balanced scoring attack with him, Jokic, Kobe, and Embiid. That's actually crazy, though, how close it is between the three of them right there. Curry still had a 14 and a half points a game here. Giannis, 14. Westbrook had the least amount, but that's because he's playing the least amount of minutes per game here. And rebound department, Jokic, of course, had the most points for us. And assist game was also for Jokic. And at the end of the season, though, we were 78 and 4 on the year, so we were so close to completing the A2-0 challenge. But unfortunately, we couldn't get the job done. So I'm going to have to chalk up this season as failure, despite having 
having 10 MPPs on the roster though, we still couldn't get the job done. But you know, it is what it is. Let's simulate the playoffs here first before we get into another season though. We should definitely win. We're sweeping the Sixers there, sweeping the Celtics and the Knicks. I do think though, we should be able to get the job done, of course, against the Thunder. And yes, we do. The Hornets have won championship. Durant is your finals MVP, 16, 7, and 5 this season. But hey, we're not done here because we got to go and make sure that we still win this challenge here. So I'll see you guys at the beginning of next year. I don't know why some of their overalls are going down here a little bit, but hey, let's see if the squad can get the job done this season here. I'm still fairly confident that a team full of the previous 10 MVPs in NBA can go 8 0 here on NBA 2K24. So let's see how this plays out here. I'm going to catch up with you guys shortly here, but first, though, this first game is obviously going to determine how well our season is. So let's simulate the first game against the Milwaukee Bucks. We do win 151 to 100 right there. Kobe Bryant at 24 in this one. Yokes at 24, 15, 8. Curry at 20 and 10 as well. That's that's what you like to see. Again, another big victory right here. Hart at 15 boards in that one for them. Giannis 18. I like him. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. Let's simulate the rest of the season there, and hopefully we get the job done this season. Only on November 10th, but we end up losing to the San Antonio Spurs there, 106 to 108. That's brutal. Victor had a huge game, so did Kellen Johnson, but no one else really did anything for them. But for us, that's, that just sucks. I mean, really, come on. I mean, they had that awful first quarter, though, 15 only in the first quarter there, compared to their 26. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I really, the season is an absolute failure, but I'm assuming at the end of the season, though, because you know, I want to see how things play out. Luka wins another MVP in the sim here. Alexander Starbuck there with the Wizards. Durant is now sixth man of the year with the Charlotte Hornets. We'll get to all the stats momentarily. Victor Defensive Player of the Year, Dyson Daniels is the most improved player. Again, I doubt any of them make an all NBA team. That's expected there. And of course, none of them do. Let's show the player stats here first, once again, before we get into everything here. Uh, I believe Jokic led the wing scoring last year, and he does as well. 15.7 right here. Curry 15.6. Kobe at 15.2. Again, still a very well balanced scoring attack between the entire roster here. Jokic again first in rebounds here and assists so he's really been our best player so far. Kobe first in the steals department. Again this season we had the exact same record here 78 and 4. I do like what we did at home though we didn't lose once at home but away. Again this season we lost four games. So either way I mean this is very unfortunate here. We're still going to do it one more year though because I want to see I said earlier in the video we're going to do three years of the simulation here and I'm going to hold true to that. Uh, let's see the Hornets and the Thunder again in the finals. The Thunder got hate us the Hornets have won championship here LeBron is your finals MVP 24 a game that one okay wow either way I'll see you guys at the start of next season though hopefully year three is the year for this otherwise uh, things aren't looking good last year this challenge to so see if they can go 82 and 0 I mean I started off very good last season there only an eight point victory though on the first game though you want to like truly blow them out each game like that one 141 to 93 right there LeBron 26 Curry 15 and 10 though we're gonna need some big performances out of our guys this season because we got to go 82 0. The rest of this video is going to be a huge failure 143 to 82 right there. Durant 23 and 13 here. This is a this is the stat line that you're expecting here. When LeBron only has seven points and you win by 143 to 82, that is a huge game right there. Either way, hopefully, we go 82 0 this season. I'm gonna see you guys shortly. Shea's winning MVP this season. We got Cooper Flag rookie of the year with the Sixers. Durant again, six man of the year with the Charlotte Hornets. And that's what you like to see. Uh, let's check the player stats here one last time in the simulation here. Uh, did Yoko see the winning scoring for us this year? No, it was actually Steph Curry this season, 17.6. Durant had 16.6. LeBron 16. Yoko had 15. Or he had 16, I should say, and Kobe had 15 himself. Yogi still had led the way in rebounds with 9.6. And this was actually LeBron James. But unfortunately, though, we went 80 and 2 on the season. We were so close the season, but we were so far off because we couldn't get the 82 and 0 challenge done. So I'm gonna have to chalk this challenge up as a failure, as unfortunately a team full of the last 10 NBA MVPs cannot go 82-0 here in NBA 2K24. As you can see, we're literally on a 70-game winning streak at the end of the season, but unfortunately, though, we lost. We lost back-to-back -back games to the Hawks. Why is it always the Hawks in 2K? I don't understand what their obsession with the Atlanta Hawks is, but you know it is what it is. I uh, said so we're just going to simulate the rest of the playoffs here because we already know the end result here. We actually lost one game to the Cavs there. Shea had 40 points a game that series. The Hornets have won the championship. Jokic is your finals MVP. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please sure like to have future content. Fortunately though, this team couldn't get the job done. But if you want me to try out any other squads like this that potentially could go 82-0 in your mind, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. If not, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time.